welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Sword of Mana. I'm joined, as always, by Loki, and Amanda is with us today. Now, Loki has been doing a little bit of level grinding, not too much, just one level, to be honest with you. He is up now to level 30. Still a ninja, I put that point into random, uh, like I said I was leveling that up. I've been trying to level up the flail and a little bit of the wisp, as you can see wisp is not working out so well. I don't even have the first level of it yet, but we will get there, we will get there. The real reason that I wanted to get at least a little bit of level grinding done was really just so I can find this right here, the glittering helm, and I will show you where you can get that. Very soon, we will be heading that way. We'll definitely be heading that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this glittering helm in. We can turn it in over here to Vega. I swear he says the same thing that we that he told us before. Right. 400 lucre. Go ahead and give it to him. A wise choice. I will share with you the honor that will be mine. And we have completed the side quest. Uh, I don't feel the need to go back to uh, Little Cactus just yet. This is a little ways away from here. I will do it in bunches. Uh, so let's head south out of Jod Desert. Well, into Jod Desert. Out of Jod. Because this is the way forward through the desert. This is the way we haven't been able to go to before. Well, we might have been able to, but we didn't. And in here we do have uh, new enemies. These are cobras. I don't know, because I've been fighting them all day. Uh, trying to trying to do that little bit of level grinding. I got very lucky, though. I, I will say that. I did get lucky. Uh, these cobras are not too difficult. They can poison you, though, so you want to be careful of that. The poison is uh, really starting to eat away at my health. Uh, but this up here leads us to a treasure chest. I was hoping there'd be an enemy there. Uh, the enemy's actually down there, as you can see. Uh, that is a cockatrice, believe it or not, and he can spawn in one of two locations, uh, up there or down here. Obviously, uh, here is the time. Well, he spawned here this time, is how I should say it, if I phrased my sentences correctly. And when he uh, drops a chest, he has a 10% chance of, uh, of dropping the glittering hell. Instead, I got a lizard scale this time. I believe I have a few of those. Let's go ahead and heal me up just a little bit. These guys are really starting to hurt. No, okay, let's let's head over here. And then I can see the new item that we picked up. The lizard scale, I believe, is a raw material. It is a raw material. That is the second one that I have. What does it say? An animal scale. It clearly says lizard, but whatever. Uh, you can start to see some of these things look exactly alike. The bronze and the iron, of course, look exactly alike. Uh, oak wood, baobab wood, animal bone, elephant tusk. They have the same little symbol. That can get frustrating sometimes. It definitely can get frustrating. Alright, so let's head up here, take on these guys again. Uh, the cockatrice, uh, just like you might imagine, can turn you to stone. Uh, so if you guys could avoid getting hit by that thing, it would probably work out best for you. I don't think I can kill anything else here, so let's just head up. Humans, I envy them. Living things, how I envy them. You should be deprived of life as we were. Do the grudges make this toxic mist? <laughs> I don't know, because that's the first time you've ever used the word grudges. Let's just get out of here. No point in finding them again. And now, uh, we can actually try to further the plot, which would be uh, south here. Now, south here, is this where I need to be? It is where I need to be. Um, before I do... Actually, let's just go ahead and do this. These are the two palm trees that we need to do the figure eight around. Uh, I don't know why, but if you do it this way, it doesn't count. But if you do it this way, then it does count. I don't know why. I seriously don't know why. Let's get out of here just yet. We don't need to go in there right now. Um, can I head this way now? I swore there, were, there was like something over here that I wanted to do. Okay, so one thing that we can do at this point, now that we have solved the mystery, is head back to Jod. Um, and we could also buy from Niccolo. He doesn't really have anything new. I can't afford the accessories still, so there's no point in trying to talk to him. 
Uh, I swore that doing that opened up something else as well. Alright, so we can head back to Jod. Uh, just basically where we started. And we can talk to... This guy right here, Mr. Canal. How goes it? Solve the mystery yet? Tell me about your adventures in the desert. So if you go around the palm tree several times in a figure eight, the sand flow will disappear. No, you just needed to go around it once. Just in the right, w right direction. That's it. Splendid. You've solved the mystery. I'll give you some Dud Bear's gold as my way of saying thanks. And we received Dud Bear's gold. And now that the mystery's been solved, I've got this big empty feeling. <laughs> you have completed my life's work. What do I do now? <laughs> what kind of crap is that? Okay, um... I swear there was somewhere else that we needed to go on this side over here, to be honest with you. Uh, but... I guess there's no harm in going through the cave just right now. Uh, the, cl the cave is not big. That is not the button that I wanted to press. <laughs> Let's go into the dune maze, as it says. The maze. Holy crap. We got an angry caterpillar here. Uh, he is uh, not weak to flail. He is not weak to sword. Is he weak to getting punched in the face? Yes, he is. So, Kamehameha! And Amanda might die here, but I have leveled up. Very nice. And he was the only enemy in this room because he is tough. And for that we can get... Honey Elixir. Very nice. That will definitely be useful. See now... Oh, what the hell? I stood around long enough and that spawned. That was crazy. Whoa, don't be swinging your axe at me hitting with an axe? What the hell is that? Alright, let's go ahead and kill these guys um, before I take on the polter chest. Uh, that is such a weird thing for me to say. I don't know why. Uh, unfortunately, the polter chest, I can only hit with the Nux. I gotta get right up on him. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit him. Yeah, you kind of... Damn it! <laughs> he minied me! Damn you! You cannot mini me! Let's go ahead and get out of that. Nom nom nom! Stop hitting him, only I can hit him. And down he goes, and as you can see, he doesn't even drop a treasure chest. He's a dick that way sometimes. And polter chest. Okay. Let's head over here. Kill his last cobra. Hopefully he spawns something. He doesn't spawn anything at all. Grab this treasure chest here. Get some salt and silk. Very nice. If that doesn't make uh, good equipment, it should at least sell well. All right, one more point in random, and we are done with random for now. For now. Very nice. A lot of MP this time. A lot of MP and agility, which I was already leveling up. Okay. Uh, so let's head south out of here. Hold on for one second. Okay, just needed to make sure that I was at the point where I thought we were, and we are. So we need to make it daytime. So let's just run around just a little bit here. Trying to advance the time. There we go. It is now daytime. And there's a sandstorm kicking up. Because why wouldn't there be a sandstorm? Uh, all the enemies seem to be on that side. So let's just head down the whirlpool. Now if you come here during night, uh, you will find enemy... <sighs> God. You'll find enemies here that um, are only weak against magic. Not good against any weapons and uh, no, skeletons. And I don't really feel like fighting skeletons just yet. Now... Uh, there are pretty much a, a few switches here that I need to hit. Oh yeah, my flail went up even though I'm not doing damage to him. Uh, I might as well keep this in because I have to do quite a few things um, in this screen. Are you kidding? What the hell? There we go. Nux up! Go Nux. Oh, that guy was by himself. Okay. But like I said, there are a few things I need to do on screen. On this screen, I should say. Honey elixir, once again, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and heal a little bit. Did she... she died. Whatever. Okay, let's, uh, let's avoid all these guys. Oh, God. Uh, I can't. Okay, um, let me take care of these guys real quick. Okay, as you can see, I hit a button down there. And now, let's hit the button up here. And is that all the buttons? There are only the two. Very nice. And we have shown up on the other side of the world. Well, uh, other side of the little cave thing. Let me go ahead and take these guys on. 
Okay, those enemies are gone and have respawned. I have equipped an no for, for this upcoming stuff here. We want to actually head past the whirlwind here. Uh, the whirlpool, I should say. And we can head up here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I entered it during the night. Damn it. <laughs> these are the skeletons. I will not be taking these guys on. I'm just not going to. It's not going to happen. Let's get me some baobab wood and uh, let me get out of here so I can make it day uh, once more. Oh, God. Now, if I remember right, going in and out of the, yes, in and out of the caves will uh, still forward the time. So, as you can see, we do have new enemies. Uh, since I'm going to be taking one of them on, it is mandatory. Let's just keep this in. I do, like I said, I have a uh, gnome equipped, uh, so I can take on this seal here. Down it goes. Down it goes. Uh, those uh, skeletons, uh, they're pretty much only weak to Wisp at this point. And Wisp is not, <laughs> not very powerful, and I will quickly run out of MP long before I, uh, I'm able to defeat all the ones in the room. So, no point in me fighting them this just yet. It's just a waste of items, to be honest with you. And we get another Presto Veggie. Very nice. Come and float next to me, my darling. Now, if we head south out here... We do get more cobras, but we also get this treasure chest with a fire coin in it. Very nice. I think that is our first fr fire coin. Let's look at the coins. Yeah, that's still in items. I'm like, oh, they're not showing up. Uh, we do have two new things here. We have spirit icons and we have uh, more trait coins. Let's look at the coins first. Uh, light we've seen. Moon is new. It creates a Moogle Morphosis effect. Now, I would love to show that off right now, but I only have one moon coin, so I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Uh, basically, it turns you into a moogle. How awesome is that? That's like a status effect in this game. Uh, fire coin uh, gives you power up. Uh, water coins, um, wind coins, earth coins we've seen before. And uh, in terms of the spirit icons, we do have the luna icon in here, which inflicts wimp status on a foe. Why would I... Uh, battle items in this game just just don't have the same appeal as as other games it's like you can start doing massive damage no in this game it's status effects just status effects i believe that is it uh for for things we can do here on this screen just double checking uh so let's head back up here this place is a maze after all and uh let me take care of these enemies actually i was wrong there is something more that we can do down here it doesn't look like you can but you can actually head through here and if you grab this treasure chest here you can get some more baobab wood and this is actually the way that we need to go um once again skeletons should spawn here are there are not going to be any skeletons spawning here can i not jump over these things <gasps> Why do you tease me, game? Why do you tease me? I see a treasure chest, but they will not let me get it just yet. All right, let's head up here. There should be enemies in here. They are not skeletons, though, surprisingly. The skeletons, I, uh, yeah, I just have no interest in fighting just yet. Holy crap, these guys are tough. <laughs> uh, let me take care of these guys off screen now.